What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's percolating? What's really good? In the hood, it is your man Theo Butler, and welcome to a hey man. Listen, what we doing? Black Panther, Volume Five, Issue Nine, Part Two, Pow. Yeah, we finna get into it. Shooty is the Black Panther. She is. Shooty is the Black Panther. We did see just last last issue where you know. Somebody looked like they put a hit out on everything like that. So we're going to see what it looked like. We're going to review this, this issue real quick. But before we do that, I had to repaint it, y'all. I had to repaint it. And this right here is my custom. This this me. This me. Yes. Y'all going to say, well, that ain't that a royal head? It is a royal head. But it's my own custom griot shooty. Yeah. That's what that is. I did that. Now, here's what I want to do for those who like to customize. I'm new to the thing and everything like that. Well, I'm new to the thing. And everything, but customize it. So, what I got here, because I feel like sharing is caring, right? I say that. And if you know me, grow me. So, if you want to customize, here's what I did. This is an Aurora head from the uh, Storm Thunderbird 2-pack. I have the scarf right here. That's from the Rogue Pyro two pack and this Dora Milaje is not actually Dora Milaje but it's Nakia the Dora Milaje's why well, I didn't use them they actually have designs in the front painted on designs in the front as well as painted on designs on the legs so I didn't want to use that so this is this is it this is my custom shooting wanted to break that out my custom griot shooty had to show mama some love and everything like that I'm gonna be back and holler at y'all all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We back, we back, we back with a beautiful cover by Paul Renard. Wait, is that name over behind Shorty with Dr. Doom in the background? Oh, it's about to get real. <laughs> it's about to get real. Anyway, we open up and get brought up to speed from the previous issues. And of course, we have our usual suspects. Reginald Hutton as the writer. Ken Lashley on the pencils. Paul Neary on the inks. Paul Mounts on the colors. And letters by VC's Corey Pettit. Now that we've caught up. Now that we're caught up, we find Shooty along with her security detail inside the Wakanda Embassy in Washington, D.C. And the Princess Regent isn't in the best of moods. Someone just tried to kill her and she wants to know who. She's brought up the speed that even though the technology of her attackers use Stark Tech, it's old Stark Tech. The circuitry behind whoever is Wakandan, the circuitry behind it, however, is Wakandan in nature. Specifically, the Wakanda Air Force. We see here where Zakar, that's the brother with the locks, has put together a list of possibles that could have betrayed Wakanda. Shuri cautions him against engaging in a witch hunt. He assures her he is looking for traitors. He says this though we can't be naive as to believe that everyone in the country is a loyal subject to the crown. Think about what he just said. Think about what I just read. Now apply it. I'm going to read that one more time. Because some people don't be, some people be slipping. <laughs> what he said was, we can't be naive as to believe that everyone in the country is a loyal subject to the crown. He's saying that even if most of the country is happy, it's at least one that's going to buck. Think about what I'm saying. Wink, wink. <laughs> I ain't saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> They find something else though, something troublesome. The technology behind the jetpacks is Atlantean. From there we move back to Wakanda where the debates between Mtoku, Mtoka, who is pro crown, pro shooty, and Indega, who is against shooty, they still chopping it up, they still going back and forth having a little CNN spot, CNN, Fox, back and forth. What we are witnessing here though is Wakanda being thrown into a state of civil unrest. First, remember T'Challa was attacked. After that, the nation itself was attacked by Moreland, an attack that resulted in the deaths of many in the Jabari lands as well as that of M'Baku himself, the Manate. When the nation should be coming together after the should, after should he defended her, the Princess Regent's competency is coming under question. I don't, I don't understand that. Maybe I do. I don't know. I know how we get sometimes. Anyway, next page over, we see T'Challa entering the ring against a very large Wakandan fighter. Gazes of concern follow him from his doctor, Queen Ramonda, and Aurora. 
His doctor urges the two women to get the child to pull back on his rehab. Why though? Let it be said here because I have no idea why authors, writers of Black Panther who look like me continue to play with this. And yes, John, really, I'm looking at you. The doctor says, and I quote, y'all, y'all go with me here. He, T'Challa, no longer has the Panther spirit. He's lost the mental and physical advantages that made him the Black Panther. He's an ordinary man. See, for him to have lost the abilities of the Black Panther means he once had the abilities of the Black Panther. Kind of like how Steve Rogers has the Super Soldier Serum. Anyway, the doctor is immediately cut off. Ramunda responds with, Ordinary, doctor, how have you served this family for so long and not understood? T'Challa does not come from a line of ordinary men. This verbal exchange is significant because it reminds us T'Challa does have superhuman powers based on his connection to Bash, just like it is the heart's the heart of Steve Rogers that makes him the perfect candidate for the super soldier. It is the heart of T'Challa that makes him Bass Avatar. It's why she chose him from birth. Y'all need me to say that one more time? I hope not because I'm tired of y'all playing around with it. <laughs> In essence, T'Challa is a special man, a special character, a special fictional character. That said, the doctor tells her that if T'Challa doesn't take it easy, he's going to kill himself. Next page over, we find Shuddy shocked to find out that some of the tech is Atlantean. Zakar plays Captain Obvious by telling Nilix, Nix, Nix, I don't know. I don't know if that's an L or I, anyway, <laughs> that the attackers went Atlantean. Letting his fingers do the talking, Nilix finds a location where the tech is being produced. Ten minutes later, Shuddy is ready to party. Hollow pods, spider bites, desert sand. Shot nets 10 times more powerful than a military grade taser, Kevlar and spider silk mesh gloves, who's that are vibrating that are adamantium tip. Adamantium tip over vibranium shells. Them claws not breaking. That's that's based on what that is. All new, by the way. Do y'all need me to read to y'all again when she finna walk when she finna walk out here? <laughs> she finna walk out here strap up shorty. And ain't got not one. You know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all, y'all from the, y'all know what I mean. Anyway, 15 minutes later, and the princess region has sprung into action like only a Black Panther can. We are also introduced to Flea, her man in the sky. I can tell y'all, Flea name pops up a lot. It does. It pops up a lot. As long as she's the Black Panther, Flea name pops up a lot. From there, we see her deploy the spider bites to take out a couple of guards. After that. She approaches a locked door that Flea unlocks from his orbital station in the sky. Yeah. How advanced is Wakandan Tech again? Just asking because he unlocking stuff from an orbiter in the sky. Next page over, we move back to Wakanda as T'Challa converses with the senior Dora. What T'Challa wants to do, he hasn't discussed with anyone save this door. And whatever he wants to do, only she, he, and Dr. Doom are well of it. That's crazy. Dr. Doom. Mm. And she agrees to help the child as much as she can. Teaching a new fighting style to counteract robots. Got it. To improve the door's efficiency so they can dodge force bolts. Got it. But if he wants to oppose magic, he going to need to go somewhere else to get that type of help. She ain't got that for him. <laughs> Did y'all, but you know, forget all that. Did y'all hear what she just said? She said she can teach the doors how to fight robots and teach the doors how to evade force bolts from the robots. I don't know no other military in Marvel Comics that can claim to know how to fight robots. I don't, and I, I don't. I don't know no, I don't know nobody else's <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Anyway, because <laughs> she did say that with confidence. From there, we see Shuri as she makes her way inside the building. I'm going to go back to that. I don't know nobody else because they're human. The girl and the are human. Like, let's, let's just get this. I don't know anybody. I don't even, I, I've been reading comments a long, long time, and I ain't never heard the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents been trained. to. to uh, no, I haven't. Definitely not how to dodge force bolts. <laughs> She teaching them how to dodge force bolts. You're not finna hit them with bullets. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> not, not. 
From there, we see Shuri as she makes her way inside the building. Flea is able to get the schematics of the building, heat signatures in the building. Like, he could tell Shirley all of this, but he cannot, for whatever reason, pick up the heat signature of a Yaku who's behind Shuri. Now, I may be wrong. I could be. Maybe I'm reading too much into this. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm who me, I, I'm who I am. But y'all reading this right along with me. Is she flirting with Shuri? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she didn't call Shitty Juicy. And usually when, when, you know, when we say that, you know, apply that to a female, Juicy, you know, it's just, and then she called her baby cakes. Like, okay, never mind. Never mind. I don't, never mind. Maybe I'm blowing it up. Next page, we back in Wakanda with T'Challa is sparring with. Let me just say this is a big dude, and you know what they say about big dudes, right? All it takes is one punch from a big dude. And that's all it needed for T'Challa to get down on his knee. <laughs> and Tomo is his name. That's the name of the big fella. And he apologized to T'Challa, who isn't trying to hear the apology, nor for the sparring sessions to get any easier. T'Challa wants all the smoke. He want to put that work in. Side note. Because <laughs> I've been trying to work with a lot of people and everything like that. And I like to think that 900 something videos do show people that I'm dedicated to my craft. But... You know, people get to this habit. They want you to be ready-made. Tom Brady was not ready-made. He wasn't. Tom Brady was a six-round draft pick. Who people called the GOAT. Because Tom put that work in. Kyrie Irving. I know this. I know people like me. Why you? Because Kyrie Irving is talented. How much work he got to put in? None. What the Nets looking like? Right. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. And it's a team sport. It is. But any team sport... The better the leaders, the better chances the team has of winning championships. And I don't think we're sitting up here questioning Tom Brady's leadership skills. Kyrie Irving might be a different story. Anyway, um, I'm just going to say it. I, I, I reject the sentiment because people, folks too often do want projects of people that are ready made for success. I reject that sentiment because the person who is starving for success going to bust their ass to get that success. And because they ain't never had that success, they're going to bust their ass to keep that success. I ain't saying that. I'm saying that. Um, a few pages later, and everyone is saying, ow. T'Challa is saying, ow, from his bruises. Shuri is saying, ow, from her bruises. But then decides it's time to put a clause on Uyaku. Who backhand shooty? Backfist shooty. Whatever you want to say, y'all see the backhand. Y'all see the backfist. I think a fist are clinched. I th think it's. I think it's clinched. The two women go back and forth, and when shooty lands a knee to a Yaku's nose, breaking it, we switch places again to find T'Challa in the home of guess who? Zawabari. Yes, who is admittedly surprised that the son of T'Chaka is visiting is visiting him. He even states that the Black Panther put more faith in science and herbology than alchemy. Now, me for mine, I'm not really seeing much of a difference between herbology and alchemy. I'm pretty sure one of y'all going to break it down to me. But I'm just, I'm, you're going to have to break it down to me like I'm in the third grade. Denzel Washington, Philadelphia style. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. As the two men get started, we flash back to Black Panther. Yeah, sure he is the Black Panther, right? Right. We flash back to the Black Panther and her battle with Oyaku. We see Shorty hit Oyaku with the desert sand, which disrupts any electronics. It's got EMP. I, I didn't... It, she strapped her shoulder. She really, really is. The two trade quips back and forth before they begin anew. At this time, though, we see that they are being observed with one person stating that Nilix had to be the one to come up with Shorty's new toys. Had to be. Damn. So that means somebody know his, know his fingerprints when they see it. Earlier, now we saw Shorty extract the information via a hard drive. Y'all remember that picture back then? I didn't touch on it, but y'all remember the picture. Y'all see the picture? Okay, cool. Well, that information will lead her directly to guess who? Name of the Submariner. Next issue. What we got? Oh, yeah. These two females right here. These two women. These two young ladies. These two warriors. They got a score to settle. I'm going to holler back at y'all. Issue 9, I think. Yeah. Power. Part 3. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Oh, man. Oh, man. How, did y'all like that? I, 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 I did. It seemed like kind of like a mid-down issue and everything like that. I still believe old girl was flaming. <laughs> hey, Juicy. 
I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Because I don't think she would have said that if that was T'Challa. I don't think she would have said, hey, Juicy, to T'Challa. I really think that was... And then she called a baby case. I don't think she called it T'Challa baby case. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Listen, thank y'all so much for rocking with me and everything like that. I see we're at 435. Let's make sure we keep the chain going. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing and everything like that. It is recast T'Challa. It is Boycott Black Panther 2. Because we want these stories told in their completeness, in their entirety. Steve Rogers got a story arc. Bucky Barnes is getting a story arc. Sam Wilson is getting a story arc. James Rose is getting a story arc. You know whose story arc we didn't get? We didn't get T'Challa's story arc. We didn't get this redemption story arc with Eric Killmonger. We didn't get any of that. And we deserve better than that. And all this, let's just go along and see what happened. Why let's go along and see what happened? We didn't have to do that with nobody else. We did what was canon, canonical to the comic books. We made some changes for modernization, but we didn't do all that. So, Let's not do that here. Characters deserve to be told. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Peace.